Hey, what's up everyone? So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the ODA3 e-tron, um, the internal combustion engine preheating. I had some questions and some comments where people were asking me about the, um, you know, the preheating of the engine, if there was one or not. So the short answer to this, it seems that no, there is no preheating. And also I demonstrated this to you with the driving on the highway with the EV mode and then suddenly I had no more battery and the ICE engaged, you know, it turned on and it engaged engaged the, the gears, uh, you know, uh, directly. So I had a 2000 and more RPMs showing, which is technically not good for an engine. It should be, you know, oiled up and heated up a little bit before being engaged, you know, in such revs. So we can say that usually those kind of cars and especially the plug-in hybrids they have to have a, a reinforced engine because you will uh, you know you will have a lot of stop and starts and you also have a lot of temperature you know variation uh, during your trip because sometimes you know you might be more on the ev mode than the engine mode and the switch you know will the, the switching of the engines will make that the uh, engine is never at the correct temperature or the oil will never be in the correct uh, at the correct temperature so um it seems that if they're reinforced well let's say well that it's okay so there are a couple of ways to preheat the car there are the standard way that i already explained to some of you and there is the new bug that I have discovered that allows you to do that. So the first one is better to use, you know, if you really would like to have a real difference, you need to use it when you enter your car in the morning or while at a, at a you know, red light. So what you're going to do is that you're going to start your, oops, you're going to start your car. Then you need to put yourself in the hybrid hold mode or the sport mode which will engage the hybrid hold mode. I never use the EV button for this because when I start the car in the morning the button is not working because the car needs to boot to start up. So I usually engage the S EV mode. Uh, the, uh, sorry, the S mode. So we have the hybrid hold mode. Then I'm going to, you know, just for security, for safety, I will press the brake with the left foot and I will make a quick press on the gas pedal. And you can see here, it, uh, the car did not move and it engages the, um, the internal combustion engine. And you can see here, we have the revs, we have the icon here, and we also had the icon here, which, which says, you know, that the EV is not available. For this to work, it is mandatory that you have the seat belt on. The car will not start if your seat belt is not on. So this is just, you know, the point of attention. And as you can see, the car is not high revving because the pressure that I'm doing, although it's until the end of the gas pedal, it's too quick for the car to react. It will just say, okay, this man needs power, so I will turn the ICE on. And that's it. Now, for the bug. The bug will allow you to preheat the car while driving. So it's not an easy one, actually, but I will show you in the demonstration that will be in English and French at the end of this video, because I cannot mess up. If I mess up, I need to wait a couple of hours before the car, you know, needs to get preheated again. So the bug will be the following. I will, uh, you know, I will uh, drive like in the city, for example, at city speed. I will need to accelerate maybe around 30%. And then at the same time, I will release the gas pedal, the gas pedal and put myself in sport mode. And this will engage this bug, which will preheat the engine without having the gears connected to the engine. So you will see here that nothing will happen here. Here you will have the S, uh, you know, the, uh, no, the EV mode, which is in, in white and, you know, with the st uh, strike, 
I don't remember how to say, with the bar, you know, here, you will have the RPMs, which will be on, and you will not see the icon of the ICE, because it seems that the ICE icon is only on when the, uh, when the gear will be engaged, then you will see the ICE icon on. And I think that's it. So it's not that easy, but I was able to make it work a couple of times. I don't know if there is an easier way so far. As I said, it is a bug that I have discovered myself. I did not read that anywhere. So I don't know yet if there are some other ways or more practical ways to activate it. So, well, I think that's it. And I will see you in the demonstration video. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we are, the moment of truth. So just to recap, um, I will be driving in DEV mode. I will try to accelerate around 30% in the, you know, uh, in the bars here. And then I will suddenly put the uh, S mode, the sport mode, and release the gas pedal at the same time. And you should see the revs going up, but steady. The icon here of the engine should not turn on and I'm not really sure of uh, what you will see here because I don't remember. So the car is cold. Alors voilà, donc on va faire ce test. Donc pour rappeler, je vais essayer d'accélérer vers les 30%. Euh, une fois atteint, je vais, euh, tout en accélérant, je vais relâcher la pédale de l'accélérateur et mettre le mode sport en même temps. Et on va voir si ça marche. Donc on devrait avoir... Alors ici, je ne sais pas qu'est-ce qu'on va voir. Ici, on va avoir des tours minutes qui ne devraient pas varier. Et puis là, on aura l'icône euh, qui devra être éteinte. Ah, l'icône du moteur qui sera tout de même éteinte. Ok, so I'm going to stress up because I don't know if it will work. Alors, on va essayer. Let's see. Let's say I'm driving. Je conduis normalement. Just after this turn. Okay. Here, you can see. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. So now we've got the. Uh, here we've got the EV, which is crossed. We've got the standard RPM. And then here we've got nothing. And here we've got nothing. But the engine is on. I can also fit. Now I'm going to try to accelerate a little bit. Donc, on va, donc là, je ne sais pas si vous, vous avez vu. I'm driving on EV. Look. Vous voyez, donc maintenant, j'accélère. On est toujours à 1,2. Le moteur ici n'est pas allumé. Le EV est barré. Et ici, il n'y a pas le moteur. Ok, so as you can see here, the bug just worked. Le bug a fonctionné. Excellent, excellent. So. To finish this uh, demo bug, um, I would like you guys, and you can see now, donc vous voyez, now it's engaged. Now the gear is engaged. Donc comme vous voyez, maintenant la vitesse elle est enclenchée, on voit que l'icône le, le, ici elle est euh, allumée, et là on le voit. Ok, so now for you guys, I would like to ask you, maybe the owners of the facelift version if you are able to reproduce the same because the for example the bug with the b mode does not does not work with the facelift version so maybe you can give it a try and let me know in the, in the comments donc voilà ça c'est tout pour cette version de hein, de, de ce bug ça doit être intéressant que des gens qui possèdent la phase 2, hein, la version facelift, est-ce que ça marche aussi pour vous Parce que par exemple, le bug de la. Comment s'appelle déjà le, le bug du B-mode ne, ben, ne fonctionne en fait pas sur la version euh, facelift. Donc si vous arrivez à le faire, ben, peut-être tenez-moi au courant pour les commentaires et puis à, à la prochaine pour une, ben, pour une prochaine vidéo. Salut